New into stock, we have a Kia Venga. It's a 1.4i EcoDynamics 16 valve one air five door. Uh, 2012 on a 62 plate, one owner from new, low mileage, 36,800 I think, but I'll, I'll check it when we get in. MOT until the 23rd of August 2020. Road tax, six months, £68.75. 12 months is 125 so fairly cheap. And the fuel economy, urban 42.8, extra urban 55.8, and combined is 50.8, so economical too. Not to uh, 60, 12.4 seconds, top speed of 104 miles per hour, and uh, it's an 89 brake horsepower, 16 valve engine. So I'll, I'll just show you around it. It's, it's, this is going to be probably a second car. 1.4, I'm not so sure whether it'd be suitable for a, for a, a first car or a new driver, but a uh, oh, second car or perhaps suit a, a, an older person. I do know the power steering is very, very light indeed uh, from driving it up here, but I'll, I'll just show you around it. As I say, it's, it's a basic car, not too much to go wrong. Nicely finished, chrome grille, We've got the uh, chrome light surrounds. The wheel trims look like alloys, but they're not, which uh, curb them. Just put a new re wheel trim on, so no problem. <laughs> They've never decided to test the uh, engines at Wharton. So if you can hear that, that's a, that's a jet engine. <laughs> so, matte black window surrounds. It's a, an integrated roof spoiler there, rear wash wipe, underneath there, just there, electric boot release, just put that in. 60-40 split rear seats, it's just started to throw it down now. <laughs> um, it's uh, rear load cover and there's a, there's a hard boot floor. I find it strange that underneath the boot floor, there's probably another six inches of room, but then there's a spare tire. So you would think there'd perhaps be another cover over there uh, so that if you did put any, any stuff in there, it, it wouldn't, you wouldn't smell like an old Michelin uh, when you get the stuff out. Um, I'll just show you in the back. So quite a lot of room in the back here. I have to apologize for the camera shot. It's uh, lashing down today. So my camera is under a tree uh, about 20 foot away. Um, three inertia reel rear seat belts. The Isofix child seat anchor points in the back here. It's uh, charcoal gray cloth and then a, a light pattern gray material in the center. Just ordinary wind up windows in the back here. And as I've said on many occasions, electric windows in the back are, are, are a waste of money. They eventually go wrong because nobody ever uses them and they just seize up and you replace them at 300, 350 quid a, a pop just to have them seize up again in another couple of years. So uh, I'd, I'd rather have wind up rear windows in the back, less to go wrong. We, we've also got here a rear armrest. This, that's where I would normally sit. I've not, I've not moved the seat in this and uh, the, the good thing is with, with it being a little bit higher, you get more leg room going down that way rather than sitting out with your legs out like so. So I, I'm, I'm quite comfortable. There's a, an airbag there in the B pillar as well. Um, nice little car, nice and clean in the back. Uh, not been, this is just as it's come in. Lance hasn't given it the treatment yet, so I expect it to be like new when he's, when he's finished it. And uh, I'll just take you for a, a ride. Off we go. Nice little five door car, two remote keys there, proper blade. If I can just find the ignition. There we go. Foot on the clutch. And there we go, start up. Okay, uh, service history. Now then, I, I looked at uh, this service history before and it, <laughs> The other day I was in Starbucks, I went for a drink and they give the, the kids there, they give them the colouring in pages, colouring in books and some crayons. And there's a kid there and he's, he's only, 
I don't know, I don't know how old he was, but he's only young. And he's colouring all over the place and none of it's going within the lines there. And uh, I thought to myself, that, that kid's going to end up being a, a service receptionist when he grows up. And then I thought, no, well, that's probably a bit unfair, really, because uh, you could put him in a dealership now and he'd do a better job than 90% of the service receptionists. And the reason I say that is because virtually every single day we come across uh, service books with invoice num numbers written where the date should be, mileage is where the invoice numbers should be, and, and, and so on and so forth. And it, it just makes the job hard. Stamps are upside down, they're in the wrong place. They're stamped in the wrong place. We had a car the other day that uh, had been MOT'd and they'd MOT'd it at 790,000 uh, miles. Now, bearing in mind that you have to key 790,000 in, it comes up on your screen and then you have to press enter. So you have to press two noughts more, more than you meant to, and then confirm it. But the amount of work that it takes to get that put right by trying to write to the Ministry of Transport um, and show that it had only done, you know, that, that the guy would have had to have done 720,000 miles in, in 12 months in order for that stamp to be accurate. So there's, there's all those things, and then they forget to stamp them. So we're ringing up all the time, just trying to do our job properly and make sure that the car has not been clocked, um, it has been serviced, they've not just got a mate there that's just stamped the book for them, or even worse these days, they've not just bought a stamp off eBay and, and made it up themselves. So here we go. <laughs> you, you'll see where I'm going with this in a second if, you're still, if you haven't switched off yet. So... First maintenance service, completed 11,508 miles, 1st of 9, 2014, job number, so on, at Chapel House Motor Company, Canal Street, St. Helens, Wigan. Then we, we switched over the page to the second maintenance service, and wow, it's not done any miles in 12 months. There's no date on it, no mileage. Oh, right, it's Chapel House. So, he's stamped the wrong bit there, realised, gone over there, and then when they've come to stamp it again, what he could have done, dead easy. 12 months goes by, goes into the uh, service department, it's a, it's a different bloke, no doubt they've, they've got, been down the zoom, got another chimp. Um, so here we go, they could have just altered that there, perhaps initialed it, perhaps even tipexed it. It would have still been kind of a red flag to us. We would have still found up about it just to make sure the mileage was correct. Um, but no, they didn't. They, so the third service is now where the second, or the second service is now where the third service should be, and there's nothing in the second service. So this car's got a proper service history from Chapel House Motors. Unfortunately, like Eric Morecambe says, <laughs> oh, all the right notes but not necessarily in the right order it's the same here it's got a, it's got a service history but not necessarily in the right order so here we go on the 6th of the 10th 2015 at 18,196 miles chapel house motor company there again so that was probably really the second service it, who who knows fourth service for reasons known best to themselves they've gone back to the same Chapel House garage here that uh, now let's see looks like a yet another different service advisor a again they've uh, once they've trained him up he's obviously gone on to bigger and better things uh, so here we go again 22nd of the 8th 2016 22,767 miles Chapel House and then thank goodness we've taken it to Northwest Autocare. Autocare 36,840, 12th of 9th, 2019, Northwest Autocare. That's, uh, that's the garage we use. And we've also got, we've got some uh, invoices here for tyres, which we've not redacted yet, um, and MOTs. So I'll just take you for a ride in it. Uh, 
there we go start it uh, we've got air conditioning the air conditioning is working fine as i say we've got wind up rear windows right so if you've got any <laughs> if you've got any kids kids don't seem to like playing with wind up windows as much as they do with electric windows up and down so nice nippy little car 1.4 1, 1 it, it's quite a, a big engine really for this and for a low mileage car having said that northwest auto care has probably checked the wipers uh, so the wiper blades are, are, are good horrid day in the uk today um, it's that uh, fine drizzle that soaks you through so uh, it's uh, not particularly pleasant i'm not particularly in a good mood and uh, but fortunately i'm inside the car now rather than spend the last two hours outside getting soaked so let's see have we got yes we have i'll just check it here when we pull up yeah this car's coming now anyway so oh that, thank you so there we go we've got height adjustable oh height and reach adjustable steering wheel that's never been moved i don't think <laughs> never been moved uh set from the day they got it and then i'm the next person to move it seven years later or really nice gearbox good road holding got height adjustable seat here we can pump it up and down like so and here we go that's so switch in the middle knock it over from the right to the left and then the joystick kind of thing is on the outside so that's that works that works that works yep that works so all the windows work just check the washers that's working fine as well so we we've used northwest auto care for 20 years and they've never let us down yet i don't think so should we go up the outside here not geared for fantastic performance but it's nice and steady We've got a CD radio there We've also got down here in the center console a power socket and USB and auxiliary and that, and that will also uh, the USB socket also serves for uh, an iPod connection or iPhone got nice big cup holders here bottle of holders and then another two cup holders there and a, and a cubby hole multi-function steering wheel that just looks like um, volume control also a mute switch that will probably be channel change but it could also be It's, it's telling me when to change gear there, change up to fifth. I can't see what that's doing, if anything. That's, that changes the band, I think. I don't know what that's doing. Oh, there we go that's 
that's actually changing some stuff there. You can fiddle about your radio from there. there indicators here on the left, which also doubles as your headlamps and fog lamp switch. On the right, your wipers. I didn't check the rear wash wipe, let's just check that. Yeah, that's squirting and wiping, that's all good too. And we've got a petrol flap release here. The petrol flap's on that side according to that. So you've got a release down here as well. If it's so quiet you can't tell it's ticking over. <laughs> just checking I've not stalled. Nice little car, as I say, it'd be an ideal second car. Um, you, you could fit three children in in the back. You could probably fit uh, to push three adults, certainly two adults. The seats are high enough at the back. It's finished in silver with this uh, charcoal cloth and grey pattern. We'll see what it's like on the motorway. So it's only a tiny car, but one thing with cars with when their engines are a little bit bigger. I mean, we're we're in fifth there. I I really want to change into sixth there, but uh, you know, th this is probably just geared for round town. It it wants to go. Sixty miles an hour. Let's just yeah, we're away. Oops! Now I'm going too fast. So um, we're in seventy miles an hour, just over three thousand revs, which isn't it, it, again. It, it's not too bad, really. It's it's pretty quiet. There's no noise, it's not too bumpy. This is quite a good stretch of motorway to be fair, so. There we go, and it's, and it's throwing it down, and it's windy today. So it's all good. So we've got a fair amount of room in the boot there. You can put the back seats down. If it was mine, then uh, I'd get a piece of hardboard cut or something, put it over the spare wheel, and then that gives you another kind of six inch loading space. In, in fact, I'd probably do, do away with, the, with the, the flat board or put the flat board in the garage and, uh, and just use that. I must apologise for that camera as well. Um, my uh, stock of GoPros has been severely depleted just recently, and there's a, probably a new GoPro coming out this month. So rather than just replace uh, two that I need, I, I'm waiting for the new GoPro 8 to come out, and then I'll, I'll get two new ones of those. So the, uh, this camera here is my DJI Osmo Pocket, and it's got a narrower field of view, so unfortunately I'll look closer to you than I would normally, and I, and I can only apologise for that.
lights changed. Yeah, Connor is nice and uh, nice and cool today. Right, come on, get out of the way. The gearbox is really, really nice, I've got to say, for a little car. If this guy turns right up here, I'm, I'm going to shoot myself. He certainly picked his lane early enough. No, he's just a shit driver. But at least we can go up here without being behind him. Nice steering, just try and get it a bit faster for this. Right, left, right, left. There we go. That's uh, CTU calling. <laughs> oh, has he got a mission for me? Oh, that's that's lovely. No, no knocks. As I say, it's been it's been into Northwest Auto Care for a service, so um, I would be very very disappointed if I found if I found anything that they hadn't. So I think that, that's far enough. Not a whole load of gadgets on this car, so uh, no need to go too far in order to get everything in. So uh, what I would ask you to do is, if the, these test drives that we do are of any benefit to you, um, probably enjoy, I was gonna say, if you enjoy watching them, <laughs> enjoy is probably a bit too strong, but if, if you watch them to pass the time, then please like and subscribe, click the bell, then you'll get notified when the next new video comes out, which um, normally every one or two days. And uh, have a look in our shop. We've got a kind of a petrol head shop. Uh, everything for motorists. You, you can get spares, you can range insurance, you can range finance. Um, you can get a part exchange price for your car, a cash purchase price for your car from We Bernie Car. Um, all sorts of clothes, gadgets, GoPros, DJI, Insta360 cameras. There's links to everything there. We will get, if you, if you click on a link and you buy something, we will get a, a small commission, but uh, honestly, it, it won't be enough to keep me in GoPros. So you won't be making us rich. But thanks for watching and uh, hopefully you keep coming back. Thank you. See you in the next video. Seeing as we're doing, this is a 50 mile an hour stretch and we're doing 30 miles an hour. They're all out today. <laughs>